Over the years, we have lost tens of millions of dollars unnecessarily. And I want to disagree with the Prime Minister when he says that nepotism is not corruption. It absolutely is corruption. It has cost us so much money over the years. And we see where the Prime Minister last week said that he doesn't care who got that contract, Madam Speaker, for Bolido. He doesn't care what does that have to do with the price of rice. And he said that he's not the minister responsible for the Lotteries Commission, but he is. He's the Minister of Finance, Madam Speaker. And all I wanted to say was that, and I'm not going to call any names, Madam Speaker, but his son is affiliated with that company that was awarded that contract, and he should have known as the Minister of Finance. He should have known, Madam Speaker, because the Lotteries Control um, I'm Act... I'm sorry, Member, if we can't move beyond that until your next point, we, I'll have to ask you to, to sit Madam down. Speaker, Do the not, point that I'm I have raising already is nepotism by I'm, the Prime Minister, whether it's legal okay. fees or awarding his son a contract for Bolido. It is all nepotism. It is all costing the Belizean yes. people. It all matters to us. All I'm saying is that the Prime Minister cannot escape his responsibility as the Minister of Finance. You can't say, I don't care. I don't know that who owned the company, man. That's not enough. It's not enough, Madam Speaker. And he ought to have known that his son was the owner of that company. I can tell you something. I, I bought the Kinnell side, you know. So, when you want to go low, I could go low. But, but I won't. I, 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 Madam Speaker, I will merely leave with you something that's far from original and something that I have used before that I was certainly hoping I would not have to employ again, especially not on this day, since it may well be the last sitting of this session of the National Assembly. I know I get into the back and forth with you in any prolonged fashion on the basis of that simple adage that we all know so well. You know, it has to do with the por porcine species. I'm sure you, 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 you know what the porcine species is. Simple, earthy, pity phrase, Madam Speaker. Never wrestle with a pig. You both get dirty, but the pig likes it. I refuse to wrestle. 